Josh, your boy Ross back at again with another video. So, we got to talk about Roman Reigns on his uh, recent promo on uh, this past Friday Night SmackDown. He uh, teased himself leaving WWE. Now, there has been some reports of him talking about it on different shows in the past few months, like different podcasts or whatnot. In the past few months, saying that he does eventually plan on leaving WWE and wants to get into Hollywood, wants to get into acting, which I don't think it's a surprise to anyone. I think a lot of people can kind of see Roman doing that, following in the footsteps of uh, The Rock, following in the footsteps of John Cena. And of his recent transformation of his character, I can see why maybe potentially studios are interested in this version of Roman Reigns because one, he has the look, two, the lines that he's been given, it sounds more like him, sounds more believable. He sounds authentic on the mic. And I think that's what's going to probably drive some studios and potential directors to want to check him out, see what he can do in a movie setting. Granted, he was in a movie with The Rock. Uh, I believe it was that uh, spinoff, that Fast and the Furious spinoff with Jason Statham. I could be wrong. But he was in a movie with him, so he has some experience. And I think that's where he ultimately wants to take his career after wrestling. And with this recent promo that we had on, on Friday, I did watch. I just didn't uh, record it, do a reaction to it. He was like, yo, once I'm done, you know what I'm saying? Once I'm done uh, wrestling, man, the whole world's going to have to acknowledge me. And I like that. I like the fact that he's pretty much saying, yeah, man, once I'm done doing what I have to do here, the whole world's going to acknowledge me. The whole world's going to acknowledge my gifts and my talent. So it'll be interesting to see how soon that will take place. I'm sure he will finish out his contract with WWE. But the real question and the real question that WWE management should have probably been, I guess, asking themselves Who's going to be the next guy to take over for Roman? That should have been a question for months now. That should have been a question last year. They've been planning to have Roman on this amazing run, but you got to find someone to either A, beat Roman, and then B, become the next guy. Especially for SmackDown, because without Roman, who do they have? Some people can say, oh, they have Drew, they have Brock. Brock is a part-timer. I don't think a lot of people want Brock. Realistically, I don't think they want Brock to just win the title. And if you do, you, you gotta be you gotta be tripping. You don't want him to win the Universal Championship because you're not gonna see the belt. He's a part timer. And with Drew, um, he's not as over as he once was. So I don't know if the fans are really gonna be that receptive to him being the top guy on SmackDown when he was just the top guy on Raw. So I'm not sure how that works. Anything can happen from now until when Roman actually does leave or when his contract does end. But I just don't see Drew being the guy. I just don't. Now, I do follow JD from NY. If y'all know who he is, he's a big, uh, one of the bigger uh, YouTube creators, uh, wrestling YouTube creators uh, on this platform. And, uh, I was watching his uh, latest podcast and he was talking about it and he brought up an interesting point, which I could see WWE doing this. He brought up the fact that if there's no one for Roman to beat right now, I think, well, what he said was he should probably retire the belt. Well, not retire the belt, but like relinquish the belt. Kind of what Oscar did. No one can beat Oscar in the NXT. When she came to the main roster, she forfeited a belt. The same thing here. If no one can beat him, they don't have anyone to beat him before he leaves to go to Hollywood, just have him relinquish the belt. I, I've done it all. I've beaten everybody. No one can beat me. I'm going to, you know, do movies now. Here's the title back. I can see them doing that. Also, here's another thing that they could do. And uh, JD also mentioned, and I think a lot of us have thought about this, but we know WWE is not going to do. Have Walter be the guy. It makes sense for Walter 
to be the guy to defeat Roman. If you look at it, their title reigns were, were hella similar. He has a faction, Imperium. It makes sense, and he's a heel. But he can legitimately beat your ass. It makes sense. Walter would be the perfect fit. But we know WWE is not going to go the route of making sense. They're going to go the convoluted way. And I don't think Walter will ever really get that chance. Um, he will be the only viable person that can do it. I'm being serious. He's the only viable person that could, where it makes sense storyline for him to beat Roman. He has backup. He he has that, that, that championship-like figure. The dude is brutal as hell. It makes sense. Comment down below if y'all would love for Walter and Roman, the Imperium, Imperium versus the Bloodline to go at it. Can you? It makes it's the match itself. Those matches itself just is perfect. Comment down below if y'all would think he would be a nice successor to Roman Reigns once he went to Hollywood. Because I think he would. I think that's the only person on the WWE roster out of NXT, Raw, and SmackDown. I think that's the only person that can do it. That's the only person that can get the job done. And it makes sense. So, um, yeah, man, I, I don't know. I, I do think if they can't, if they're not going to use Walter and they don't have anybody else, I do think JD's uh, idea is, is plausible. It makes sense. Have him, have him relinquish the belt. He's leaving. He can't defend it. Have him relinquish it. He'll go down as the greatest universal champion of all time. Probably go down as one of the greatest WWE champions modern day. No one beat him. No one took him down. No one could stop him. And he's going to go do movies now. It makes sense. Since they haven't booked anybody else. And this falls on WWE. Because at the end of the day, out of all the eras of wrestling, when we knew Stone Cold and The Rock we're going to hang it up. going to do other things. We were good because we had other talent. We had other talent that could take over. We had the John Cena's. We had the Batista's. We had the Randy Orton's. We had a new fresh Brock Lesnar. We had the Eddie Guerrero's. We had these talents that could take over when these guys are done. We had it. And that's because they built these guys up. Because they were already stars. Now, we're in a situation where WWE hasn't taken time to really build somebody believable. So, when Roman does inevitably relinquish the title or loses the title, who he's going to lose it to? Who? You haven't built nobody up. That's believable. I was hoping they were going to do something with uh, King Xavier Woods, but he's been... You got him over here crying over a fake crown. You got him over here getting destroyed by Bobby Lashley in the men's Survivor Series match. I don't care. Him win that tournament doesn't mean a goddamn thing. And things can change. We've seen it with Daniel Bryan. We've seen it with Kofi. Sometimes you can have a fantastic string of matches where people get behind you. And you can create a potential new star from that. It's just, it depends on WWE's booking. You can tell... WWE has put in all their creative juices into Roman Reigns. All their creative talent has gone into Roman Reigns. Everybody else? Eh, we'll see what we can come up with you. Am I lying? Am I lying? And that's the problem. Roman is fine. You need to worry about the rest of your roster. You need to worry about the rest of your company. Because once he leaves, which he's made it very clear on his last promo that he ain't going to be here too long. Now what are you going to do? They'll throw millions of dollars at Roman, but I'm sure he will go do movies. He'll be on a part-time schedule, and that's just what it's going to be. So, I don't know. Comment down below. Let me know. Do you guys agree with that? If he does end up leaving, that he should probably most likely just uh, relinquish the title because they haven't built anybody else up to to take, take the belt from him. Or do you think he should drop the title before he leaves at any point to somebody and who would he drop the title to my pick would be none other than walter himself that would be my personal pick but who do you guys have and it gotta make sense someone believable that we can be like oh you know what it makes sense for roman to drop the belt to him because 
to be honest with you, he's damn near beaten everybody. So, I would love your thoughts and opinions on that. Appreciate all the love and support. Road to Sandy K. Appreciate y'all kicking with me. See y'all on the next one. Peace.